Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing part two of the ASOS haul. So I'll link part one down below. I filmed part one at my place. As, as you can probably tell, we're somewhere different. So currently we're at my mum's because I came back for a week. So today we're going to be doing part two. Now I tried most of the things on at my place and then a couple of things on here. So some of the clips that you'll see of me trying items on will be at my place. The last couple will be here. We're going to go through the items one by one, see what I like and see what I didn't. And I tried a different style of trying things on as I did in the first one. So if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave and if you press that notification bell then you'll be notified every time I upload. So if you want to see me like try part of two of the ASOS haul out then please keep on watching. So the first thing we have are boots. <laughs> so I do love a pair of black boots as you'll kind of be able to see. I think we only had one perhaps. They weren't even black in um, <laughs> the last haul I did. So I have two pairs of shoes again this time. So these, these, look how beautiful these are. So these are the ASOS chunky like lace up boots. They have like a zip on this side and a zip on this side. I don't understand the purpose of it, like a zip on both sides. Personally, I find it a bit much. I do like how simple these boots are. I think I would pair them with like a more like, I don't want to say fancy outfit, but if you've got like patterned trousers, you could have that with like these boots and a plain top. Or if you've got generally a more patterned outfit, I think this would go nicely, like even with a patterned dress in the summer. So to me, they're a good like basic item. And I think they're like a good price for what they are. I ha always have a size five and these retail for 30 pounds, which I think is a good price. They don't feel cheap. That's what I like. I felt like the great checked ones from the previous video felt a little bit cheap. These feel like really good quality and I feel like these would last and I would wear them like every day forever. Like to me, zips on a boot are very attractive because I can literally just like pull them on and be ready to go. So these are the new look flat hiker boots with contrast stitch. I kind of feel like the contrast stitch is a little bit intense. I find this entire section like a little bit intense. I think the laces and the buckles are a little bit too much. I would go for plain laces if I was to wear these boots. I think that would tone it down just enough for me. If you like a bright kind of boot like this, then go ahead. They are super comfortable and fit really well. To say that I'm like a four and a half to a five and a half really. So that's why I go for fives. I do it on one pair of sixes because they were too small in a five on one foot. It is so annoying. Do you not find that you have like one foot bigger than the other? So your shoes either fit really well or really not. And with heels, that's really important. But we digress. These retail for 37 99 and I do really enjoy them. I think they look very flattering on. They are super chunky to be aware of, but I think they're really cute. I don't mind a chunky shoe. In fact, I like a chunky shoe because to me, you're getting grip. You're not gonna go anywhere, no slipping, none of that. And you know what, to me, a chunky shoe is super cute. I would wear this with probably like plainer jeans. I don't know that I'd go for like a pattern jean or anything like that with this. And then you can have like any top, like any top at all. Black goes with everything, absolutely everything. So the next item we have is this ASOS jumper. It's the fold over one, like with this bit at the top in gray. This I got in a size 12 and retails for 18 pounds. So I kind of like that it folds over like this and it kind of comes like around here, which I think like looks really cute. However, the problem I have is like this bit, the bottom bit looks really wide and I think it makes me look really square. Now the crop isn't far enough up where that looks nice. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if the crop came to like just like under the boobage area, then I think that would look kind of nice. However, it doesn't. It comes nearly all the way down to cover just like near to the top of the jeans if you're wearing some high waisted. So you'd have to wear like some lower cut jeans and that's just not my style. I don't think it suits my body shape whatsoever. I think it emphasizes my little pear shape moment that I have going on. And I'm not a massive fan of that. I also have like this problem with the sleeves. They're super baggy to me. And I get where they're coming from with like this crop like jumper moment, but because the crop isn't right. I don't find the sleeves to be right either. I find them quite baggy. To me personally, this is one of the worst items I've tried on. I don't find it super restricting or itchy or anything like that. I find the material quite nice. And if you like this kind of 
fold over bit enough, I think it could work for you. And if you're taller than me, like significantly longer torso moment, then the crop could actually work. But then I think you'd have a problem with the arm length and things like that. So I think it really depends on your size and shape. And this would work on like a very specific size. And I'm just not it. So this is this Boohoo strappy bodysuit that I got in both the 10 and the 12. I cannot try this on on camera for you guys because if you can see, it's like see-through. You can definitely see everything through this. I, I am not showing all of that off on camera. Let me put it to you that way. You can see absolutely everything. This would work under like a shirt where that's partially see-through as well because it has enough opacity that that would like work. But then I think you might as well just get an opaque one and wear that instead. Personally, like this is six pounds, so it's a good price, but it's not a good enough price for me to actually keep it because even in the 12, and it was the 12 that I tried on, it wasn't too tight at all. And I thought that the cut was very nice. I thought that the V-neck was quite flattering. It made the cleavage look very nice. However, even though it closed and stuff, it was just, it was just too see-through. And I personally don't think anyone is after that look. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is the ASOS polo neck bodysuit. Got this in a 10 and a 12, obviously in black. Retails for £16 each. And honestly, I love a polo neck. I have a black like t-shirt one and a grey one. I love, love, love them for the winter. I mean, there's specific jumpers and stuff that you can't wear with it, so you like wear a cardigan with it. However, what I find the problem is, I find that because of my torso length, they're too short. So I have to have like super high-waisted jeans to like make them work. But with a bodysuit, you don't have that problem so much. You don't have the tucking in like issue that I like with them. I absolutely love this, otherwise I wouldn't be keeping it. I think it fits really nicely on the body. It tucks in nicely. And I think it looks like super classy and it is so soft, like so, so soft. And it gives you enough neck room, which actually is really important with polos. As you may have seen on the clip, and as you can kind of see here, this has got quite a bit of stretch, but it's not so stretchy that it's going to have a lot of gap here. It just sits really nicely around the neck, and I don't find it too restrictive. If you're a little bit claustrophobic, I would say order it in C. I'm probably keeping the 12, not keeping the 10. I absolutely freaking love this one. Absolutely love it. So next is the ASOS off the shoulder button up jumper in oatmeal. You can see this colour is not really for me. That is the first point I will say about it. I don't like to start off negative because I do think this jumper is kind of cute overall. But it has these buttons down the middle which you can see are non-functional. I like a functional button. To me buttons are always meant for decorative purposes. Especially if they look like they should be functional. This looks like it should be a cardigan to me. I think it would be a little cuter as a cardigan personally. But whatever. So this does retail for £25, which I think is a really good price. It's not actually itchy, which I really like. I'm finding this rib material really good for my skin. It's not super, super soft, but it's soft enough. And for me, that means it's probably quite soft. Do you know what I'm saying? Overall, like I said, it's pretty cute. I just don't like the frills on these. And personally, I don't think it suits me or my skin tone. And I just, I think it fits well, but it's just... It's not my style and I think it's actually quite boring. I don't think it looks very good on me. I don't think it suits my style at all. I think this would look good on someone that kind of likes a little bit of plainer kind of clothing. I like check. I like overshirts. I tend to like things like that. This jumper is just not my style whatsoever. I thought it looked super cute on the model and it is like a cute jumper but it's just not for me. So next I have like one of my favourite items of the entire haul. It is this, this roll neck. How pretty is that colour just to start with? That is plum. So this is a new look popper detail roller neck jumper. I have it in a size 12 and it retails for $17.99. It has these little gold buttons, like rose gold gold buttons on here, which I freaking love. They're such cute detail. You'll see in the clip on that this is the first of the two items that I tried on here. So... First things first, I love this colour. I love how super like stretchy it is. It is not itchy whatsoever. The neck is like stretchy, but the only problem I have with the neck is that I do find it a little bit of trouble to stay in place. It rolls down fine and then it starts to 
sneak up a little bit. That's the only problem that I have with it. But I'm sure if you like ironed it to stay in place, I don't think there'll be a problem. So you like rolled it down even further and then ironed it. I think you'd be okay. Personally, I love the cute little detail on the sleeve. I think it just amps it up. And it's just, it's such a beautiful jumper. I would totally recommend this. And if you think 18 pounds, if you're a student, you can get 10% discount. This is super affordable and super good quality for what it is. I would highly recommend this jumper. So the next thing we have is this off the shoulder jumper dress from ASOS. It's the ASOS Versali or something like that. I butcher every name, please forgive. This is in a 12 and it's supposed to be like a jumper dress. You can see it's supposed to have like a little bit of shape at the side. It is quite long and it is huge on me. It's a size 12 and it retails for 32 pounds. But honestly, I can't see myself keeping it. I'm itching my arm as we speak. It does have like a little bit of an itch. It's not as itchy as I anticipated with how woolly it looks but it's huge as well, that's part of the problem. Like you'll see it on, I look fairly like square and boxy. And that's even when my hips are a little bit bigger. I think you definitely need like a belt with something like this, but personally I wouldn't want to have to pair a belt with like a jumper dress, I want it to fit just a little more snug. It's just not the style for me and it is a little bit itchy. I just, I just can't get into it because of the fact that it makes me look so square. And I don't feel like it has quite enough shape that even if it was the right size, it would work. And for me, £32 for a dress that's A, slightly itchy and just doesn't work, I don't think I would wear this or like buy this. It's just, it's just not for me. But anyway, that was the last item. And I'm sorry to end it on like kind of a negative note, but there were a lot of items I liked in both hauls. So do, like I said, check out the first one. I'll link it down below. But I really enjoyed doing this. I don't know if I'm going to go back to the old style. I do feel a little bit awkward just kind of stood there showing you the item. So I may go back to just chatting when I have the item on. I can then kind of show you what I mean by like it being baggy or anything like that without pulling weirdly at any pieces. So I think for the misguided that's what we might do. I will see how the video comes together at the end. But do like sound off down below if you think that that's what I should do or not. But anyway, I really hoped you liked the video regardless. So if you did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And if you press that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload. Thank you for watching.